Caitlin Marie Pendergraft, you are my person, my inspiration, my love, my everything. I cannot wait to spend a lifetime loving you. I have spent my whole life looking for my other half, and when God put you in my life back in 2017, I knew it was you. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Caitlin and Mitchell. i uh, also like to take the time to uh, remember the ones that couldn't be with us today, who are no longer with us. Mitchell, I know if your dad were here, man, he would be very proud of the young man you've become. And the young lady that you've chosen to be your bride. I remember staying up until 4 a.m. on a school night talking about life stories, many about your dad. Though I never knew him, you described a strong, supportive, and loving man. I see so much of him in you. Your amount of love, protection, and hard work for me, Winnie, and Josie does not go unnoticed. And one thing I do know is that he's here today watching over you with so much support. Lord, we ask your blessings over this ceremony. As Mitchell and Caitlin make their vows to each other, stand by them throughout their marriage and fill them with your perfect love so that they may grow in their love for you, for each other throughout their marriage and their lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. first thing I noticed about you was how big of a heart you had, also your beautiful smile and your eyes. I couldn't imagine growing old with anyone but you. Though my love started for you five and a half years ago, I prayed for you so much longer than that. When we first started dating, everyone told me that it caught them by surprise and that we were two different people in every single way, but somehow it still looked perfect in their eyes. So many people told me that. And of course we aren't perfect, but I always knew that we would end up here. I always knew that I'd be promising myself to you. This is gonna be difficult for me because Caitlin, you know how close our families are. But a little over 21 years ago, I got the phone call that Caitlin was coming. And here we are 21 years later, and I'm driving this bus, and I'm marrying you two lovebirds. <laughs> but during those 21 years, a year and a half later, my Maddie was born, and you two become best friends. Me and Nate have been best friends since I was born. She was the older sister who was always there for me when I needed her. And during this speech, I'm probably gonna call Caitlin Nate. And it's because when I was little, I could never pronounce Kate, so I said Nate and it's always just stuck. So I've got to see all the countless sleepovers. I've got to see um, all the dress up sessions, <laughs> all the rock band practices. <laughs> Just countless things, that, all the vacations we've been on together. So it's been a privilege to watch you grow up. I've known Caitlin for 20 years, which is absolutely crazy, but that also means I've known Caitlin and Mitchell for their entire relationship. I got told when they had their first date, first kiss, and all the other firsts in their relationship, I've been waiting for these two to get married for so long, and I'm so glad the day finally came. Mitch, I'm so glad Nate found you. You're most definitely the one for her, and I'm so happy for the both of you. Love snow.
snuck up on me and you came into my life when I least expected it. But I haven't doubted it since. When we first met, we were really two completely different people with two completely different stories. But one thing we both knew we had in common was our love for Jesus. And because of that, over the past five and a half years, two are now becoming one. I truly believe that I was put on this earth to find and love you. I may be the most indecisive person that you know, but one thing I'm certain of is you. Becoming your wife is the easiest decision I will ever make. You are the person I look forward to sharing all of my dreams with, and you're the person that I want to grow old with. You are the person I can't imagine life without, and now I don't have to. I promise to love you when we are sick or healthy, whether we're rich or poor. I promise to give you the best future together. I promise to love you for the rest of my life. I promise to listen to you and to never go to bed angry, and I promise to protect you. I promise to cherish you because you are the greatest gift God has given me. Therefore, always know that wherever life may lead, through the ups and downs and the peaks and valleys, I will always stand by your side as we walk this life together. I promise to always support and encourage every passionate dream that you have while keeping you focused on the importance of us in our marriage. I promise to always trust you in leading and protecting our family. I promise to always be open to new ways of life so that we continue to grow together. <laughs> Caitlin, take you, Mitchell. I, Mitchell, take you, Caitlin. I promise to choose you every day. To do the hard work. Of making now and to always. To pray and believe with you. To laugh and to cry with you. To grow with you and to create with you. To be your accomplice in mischief. And your partner in all life's adventures. Loving what I know of you. And trusting what I don't know yet. I give you my hand. I give you my love. I give you myself. And now, by the power vested in me by the Church of God, it is my honor and delight to declare you married. Mitchell, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Could everybody please stand? I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Mitchell Gray. It's obvious that she has good taste, man, because she picked such a well-rounded, funny, good-looking minister to officiate her wedding. <laughs>